Hey guys, I'm going to do a review on the birdie ball. It's a great at home uh, type of training aid you can use, but the coolest thing about it is what you're about to hear in just a few seconds. So what is birdie ball? Birdie ball is a plastic tubular type of thing, almost like a PVC type of material. Uh, it's designed to be a limited flight golf ball. It uh, is supposed to slice and hook just like a real ball. As you can tell from the uh, sound, it does make a what they call a turbine sound flying through the air, which is quite unique and interesting. What I like about it is it goes about 45 yards unless there's wind that is in play. Um, you can see in this video here uh, where it's downrange. I'm hitting it a variety of distances, anywhere from 30 to 45 yards. Uh, that's because it got a lot of wind blowing around, swirling. Um, however, I found that it can easily go 60 yards downwind. It does, in fact, hook and slice just like a regular golf ball, which makes it great for at-home practice. The only problem that uh, I can see is if you think you're going to work on a five yard draw, for example, you have no way of telling with this uh, device that you're going to actually hit a five yard draw. Uh, it's pretty good for if you just want to warm up before a round and you don't have the facility to do so, or you just want to keep your swing relatively sharp and you want to make sure that you're not slicing the ball or hooking the ball, whatever shot you're trying to avoid. Uh, it's great for that. But uh, if you think you're going to work on a, like I said, a five-year draw, five-year cut, you're never going to be able to really tell if you're pulling that shot off with the birdie ball. But it's great for what I like it for, just going out and hit about 30 balls, and you know that way I had my, my practice in, so to speak, for the day. Uh, you cannot vary trajectory on it. It will not uh, give you any guides of uh, how far you're hitting it. But the one good thing that I do like is it's firm enough that you're able to tell if you hit the ball off the heel, the toe, or thin, or even fat. So it's Pretty good feedback on that. Um, it's totally safe. It uh, will not damage property if you hit a window or happen to hit a hit the dog as it's walking out in the yard. It uh, doesn't cause any damage. I'm sure it might sting, but it's a lot uh, more friendly than a real golf ball. All right, guys. So here's some of the uh, I'll call them defects or broken ones. Now this one got cracked and. When I hit it, broke into two different pieces after being cracked. Uh, what I mean by cracked is you can see right here, this one's got cracks on, on both sides. Actually, there's four cracks there. Um, one thing that you, you gotta be careful though is, this one might be cracked from hitting it. However, you can see the, the chip there. That's from the lawn mower, same right there. You can see that got hit by the mower one day and I continued to hit it. Um, and that cracked just because the mower. But uh, these do crack and they do break over time. Right here is another fine example of a cracked one. I guarantee you hit that a couple more times and uh, it's going to wind up breaking. Um, sometimes they get pretty gnarly. Uh, and they fly funny, obviously, when they're um, broken like this. They don't, they're don't. they not as aerodynamic as they, they're meant to be. So this does happen, but this is the uh, total I've got uh, after about four years of using these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I've busted a baker's dozen basically over four years. Um, yeah, mower got one or two of them, but uh, and there's another one I got the mower got. I see the chip out of it, but uh, they do do break. I don't know if it's because they are out in the sun or the cold or whatnot. If it's a temperature issue, I live here in Michigan, so. It changes quite frequently. Like today, it was uh, probably in the low 40s, and now it's at about uh, 60 degrees uh, just uh, in the uh, early afternoon. So it could be a weather issue. But then again, if I'm getting four years out of that um, and hitting them pretty much every day, that's pretty solid. Uh, that's why I bought uh, excess of 100 of these just to give myself uh, plenty of ammunition. Uh, some of them wind up sitting in the storage just until I need to, to break them out, but uh, I, I probably only have about 40 or so out at a time. And uh, as, as they break, I wind up replacing them. Um, I'm probably good for a few more years before I even have to buy any more. So pretty good solid uh, durability, considering that only 13, like I said, over the course of four years have been totally busted. 
All right, guys, just a couple of pointers if you decide to purchase these. Um, as you can see right here, this is the way it's meant to be hit with the open end up or down, depending on how you look at it. But this is a bad image on how to hit them in the sense of they should not be hit off of grass. They can be. However, I find that they do fly a little funny out of uh, longer grass. That generally, our yards are a little longer than a fairway, for example. Um, I hit these off of a uh, regular driving range mat, which works just fine. Uh, birdie ball does offer what they call the birdie board, I believe. And it uh, looks pretty interesting, but uh, when I already have a mat at the house, I'm not going to waste my money on that. But if you're going to go to the park or something like, let's say you lived in New York, that would probably be a good option. That way you're not uh, tearing up Central Park. Um, if you look now at the next photo here, we've got what they call the birdie ball velocity tee. Uh, they come in two packs and they're pretty neat. They allow you to hit the driver or the three wood off of a tee. Um, I've ne actually never used a three wood tee. To me, it tees up higher than what I would actually tee up a three wood. But uh, the driver height is pretty solid and um, it, it allows you to hit the driver. And again, it, that might go 60 yards. I, if I, I hit it downwind, I could see it maybe going 70, but I, I don't really use it a whole lot. And the reason I don't use it is because this uh, blue thing is all foam. That's yeah, pretty sturdy. But uh, it will fly a good 10 or so yards down the uh, in front of you after you hit it. Because um, obviously your big 460cc driver head is going to take that and the ball with it. I would say it's pretty uh, accurate on uh, drives. I mean, it hooks and slices and flies out there. Again, uh, what you put into it is what you get. The only problem and why I don't use this tee too often is um, I don't like chasing the stupid tee after every shot. Um but it allows you to hit the driver if that's what you're looking to do. But be prepared to get your steps in for the day. Uh, you can actually use a couple of regular tees and put them down on the ground. Now, obviously, it's going to take you anywhere from three to four tees to get that birdie ball to stay on it. But that is an option if you don't want to spend the money on these. Um, but this is a great product, guys. Uh, it allows you to hit balls from home and uh, see whether you're hooking it, slicing or what whatnot. You're not able to fine tune things, but it is a good way to keep your swing loose throughout uh, times when you can't make it to the course. As long as you've got the ability to find a location where you can hit them. I'm pretty fortunate that I've got a perfect spot in my yard. I like to hit these. Um, but even if you're a, a city dweller and you live in New York, you could easily go out to Central Park if you had the uh, the board that I mentioned earlier um, and, and hit these and you're not going to hurt anyone. Um, Again, they're about 45 yards unless you got the wind in your face. It's going to go down to probably about 30. Um, if you're downwind, uh, you're going to probably hit about 60 yards unless you're hitting driver. Then maybe you get a little bit further than that. But uh, again, quality product. They last for doggone near ever. Um, if you've got the, uh, the uh, location to hit these, it sure as heck beats, beats the driving range. Have a good one, guys.